Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to Foundations today. Today, we are going to read the story again, Fred the Frog. You did such a great job with your fluency work with this passage yesterday. Today, we are going to go on a suffix S word hunt. But before we do that, let's read the short story together. Let's read it as fluent as we can. So join on with me. When I'm reading, you should be reading too. Are you ready? Let's follow the scoops together. Fred the Frog. Fred the Frog likes to hop and jump. He hops over the twig and he jumps on the grass. He is quick. He jumps over the mud and between the two dogs. He jumps on the steps. Then I did not see him. Where did Fred go? Did Fred hop up on that bench? Yes, he did. Then he went into my hut. Did Fred hop up on my bed? Yes, he did. Yuck, get off, Fred. So you might wanna spend some time reading it to make it sound extra smooth, but today we have another fun activity for you. We are going to go on a suffix S word hunt, and I'm going to show you how it's done. So you can get a marker or a pencil and your notebook, and you can create a T-chart. You can label the T-chart Fred the Frog, suffix S word hunt. You can make a line down the middle and a line across. We are going to be sure to separate all the suffix S that are plural and that are action words. Let's review. A suffix S can be for two reasons. It can be because it's plural. And plural means more than one. A suffix S can also be there because it's an action word. It's because you are doing it right now. Somebody is doing something. Okay, so let's, let me show you. I'll do some of them with you and then you're going to do it by yourself. So I'm gonna go back to the passage, just like you are, and I'm gonna look for any words with a base word and a suffix S. Oh, I found one. So I'm gonna start right away from the first one I see, and I'm gonna circle it. Do you see it too? It's the word likes. Do you see the suffix S in likes? Now, we need to think, is this a plural suffix S, or is it because it's an action word? Hmm, well, let's read the sentence. Fred the Frog likes to hop and jump. Fred the Frog likes to hop and jump. That means it's the act of doing something. He likes to hop and jump. When someone likes something, it's not plural. It's an action word. So we know that the word likes goes under this column right here under action words because the suffix S is an action word. So now what you would do is write the word you found in the right spot. So I'm gonna write likes, but then I'm also going to mark it up. So let me change the color to mark it up. I'm gonna underline the base word and I'm gonna circle the suffix S. And now I'm ready to hunt for more. So let's do one more together before you go off and do it by yourself. Are you ready? Let's go back to the passage and keep reading to look for any suffix S words. Fred the Frog likes to hop and jump. He hops over the twig and he jumps on the grass. I see so I already see some in the sentence. Do you see one? Here's one, hops. And here's another one, jumps. Those are two words with suffix S S's. Let's take a closer look. Hmm, he hops over the twig and he jumps on the grass. Those words are action words. Hopping is when you're going up and down and jumping is when you're jumping up and down. 
Those are action words, the act of doing something. So that's not plural, it's an action word. So I'm gonna add the word hops and jumps to this column, action word, since it's the act of doing something. So let's change it back to red, and I'm gonna write hops and jumps. Fred the Frog hops and jumps. He does that, it's an action, and it has a suffix S. And now, don't forget to mark it up. Underline the base word, circle the suffix S. Underline the base word, circle the suffix S. So the base word in likes is like. The base word in hops is hop. And the base word in jumps is jump. Do you see why these words go under action words for suffix S? It's the act of doing something. It takes some thinking, but you got this. So I think you're ready to do it by yourself, but maybe let's find one that is a, a plural so you can know. So let me look for one that's plural. Hmm. Ooh, I see one. I'll circle it for you, but you're going to do the rest. He jumps over the mud and between the two dogs. How many dogs? Two dogs. More than one. If you're talking about more than one dog, it's dogs, plural S. So that word would go under plural. Then you would mark it up and go back to hunt for more. So your task today is to read and reread the story Fred the Frog and go on a suffix S word hunt. Make a T-chart in your notebook and put all the suffix S words in your columns. One column is going to be for plural words and one is going to be for action words. Make sure you think about what's happening in the story to see if it's plural or action. Then make sure you put them in the right spots in the T-chart and mark them up. Lastly, upload a picture of your completed T-chart. We can't wait to see it. If you like this, we can do more hunts tomorrow.